Once you have created a setlist in Chart Builder, edits to the song order, setlist name, and more can be made in the setlist overview. While in the setlist overview, tap Edit to open the edit mode. New songs can be added in the setlist builder by pressing Add Songs. Search for any song in the catalog, your library, or cloud songs, and tap the plus icon to add them to your setlist. Press the X in the top right to return to the setlist overview. Songs can be deleted by either tapping the minus icon to the left of the song row or by swiping left. Press and hold the stack icon on the right of a song row to rearrange the setlist order. Let go to confirm song movement changes. Once setlist editing changes are complete, tap Done and save to the cloud. Setlist changes saved to the cloud will be accessible by users in your organization with access to this setlist in Chart Builder, Playback, or on Multitracks.com. When saving to the cloud, add a note to describe which changes were made with the latest save for your team members to see. Chart customization settings are local only for a user and will not be saved to the cloud. However, song keys will be updated to the cloud and will change the setlist in playback, requiring a key change for tracks being used. Other setlist settings can be edited by tapping the ellipses icon next to edit. Tap edit setlist details to make adjustments to the setlist name, pin the setlist at the top of your list, or adjust the date and service time. The latest setlist note can be viewed at any time from this menu. Once a setlist is ready to be shared with your team members, tap notify team to automatically send an email invitation to every team member added to the setlist. From this menu, you can also duplicate the setlist, save it to the cloud, or restore from cloud, which will update the local setlist with the latest saved version. Deleting the setlist will permanently remove it from your organization.